look, who, who's vulnerable to this? Everybody. It's hard stuff, okay? If you're out there, if I see anyone, wow, perfect technique, I'm like, you know, what's his score? It probably sucks. You got to be willing to hit the wall to win, to win the cup. You know, it's not your first choice. There's nothing about crashing that makes you drive fast. Right? But you're not going to learn to drive real fast unless you've, you've wrecked once or twice. Why do I say that? Because that's just how it is. That's the, that's the empirical observation. So, Greg, speaking right about that, what do you say to people who say, you know, look, I mean, th that's dangerous, right? I mean, he's rounding his back. Yeah. The, the danger lies in not learning the mechanics. And you're not, gonna, you're not going to, there's, therein lies the danger. That's the real risk, not learning the mechanics. Now, ask me, real world, can we learn mechanics without fucking up? No. No. And the more I can make you fuck up and fix it, the faster I can get you outputting at a high intensity during which you will maintain some assemblage of mechanics. My best performers are moving through the workouts of what I'd give them like a 92 on form. It's not great, but it's pretty fucking good. The APT, OPT, Everett, Amundsen crew. My first, my best performers move really well. That is not, these vectors don't point in opposite directions. There's efficiency in good mechanics. When we define strength as the productive application of force, I by necessity introduce form and safety into the demands. I'm not looking at just contractile potential. I want productive application of force. I want useful work. I want functional movement accomplished. And if we're keeping score as to how, what kind of output, power output, is associated with that work, it makes sense that he or she that is max on outputting is also pretty damn good on form. You understand that? No one ran, won the Indy 500 where the last five miles they're only running on two cylinders. You fall apart on these things, you know, the same stuff we're doing here, this sloppiness could cost you life, mission, game. It could be critical. Let me, let, me, let me describe a scenario. I had a young trainer, a very gifted mover, one of these few that could close grip, close stance, over, overhead squat with a closed stance and closed grip. And she was kind of a, 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 a connoisseur of exquisitely correct movement, okay? Never able to generate any intensity. If you say that I will not take my intensity past where the form goes bad, what's going to happen is that the intensity will never develop. And if by chance, through need or threat, I get the intensity outside of the comfort zone, the mechanics is sure to come unhinged. I need to move the place, the intensity level at which my mechanics sustain, I need to move them together outward. And you won't do that unless you drive it in intensity where you're wobbled. But look, we're working to the point where you're about to pass the fuck out. Do you think you're going to remember to keep your back arched? Maybe not. If I'm augering into the ground because I can't control myself standing up any day, I don't know, if, you know, I might spill my tea. That's okay.